In this lesson, you'll learn how to order and receive products. To make an order, go to the stock menu and select Ordering. First select the supplier at the top of the screen. And then press New. Select the order type and products will be automatically added to the order if they've fallen below the minimum level. To remove items from the order, you can use the delete button. You can then select additional products by pressing the add button. And enter the quantity you wish to order. You can enter a line discount on an individual product, or you can enter a discount for the entire order. This will help you accurately calculate the price of the order. You can also enter the freight for the order if applicable. And you have the option to save the order and come back to it later. When you're finished entering your order details, press the order button. Press yes to proceed with the order. If you've entered an email address in the supplier details, you'll receive a message asking if you wish to email the order. Choose yes. Your email program will then ask you if you wish to allow shortcuts to send this email for you, so we'll choose Allow. And we recommend selecting the longest amount of time to ensure that the order is processed. Then press Allow again. And the order has now been placed, so we'll click Done. The email will then be sent with your order attached. When we receive the order, then we'll select our order from the Outstanding section and press Receive. At this point, if there were any changes in the items delivered, we can edit the order. In this example, the supplier didn't send me the five primers that I ordered. I only received two. So I'll change the quantity. A message will appear asking if the three products which haven't arrived are on back order or no longer being delivered. If I say yes to back order, an additional order will be created for the back ordered items. And if you have an invoice number, you can enter it in the top right corner. And press receive. Select yes to proceed receiving the invoice. We've now successfully received the order, which has updated our product levels. So click done. Shortcuts is now asking us if we'd like to print the barcodes for the products we've ordered. I'm going to select No. And we can see that the order has now moved into the Received section. We can also see another order in Outstanding, which is for those backordered products that are being sent separately. Now you know how to order and receive products, you can efficiently manage your product levels.